Yo, this is Charles for Premier Guitar, Winter Nam 2013, Anaheim, California. California? I'm with my buddy James from Voodoo Lab, and he's got new stuff as usual. And uh, what is new? What is new? We have finally the Pedal Switcher 8, PX8. We originally put out the, the product that was a four loop pedal switcher. In this version, we've made the size of it a lot smaller, so you'll notice it actually fits on a single rail of a pedal train, giving you the room to drop like right angle cables right down into the board. Eight loops, all gold contact relay, true bypass. You know, and the cool thing about this thing is where you see guys with large pedal boards, they like having that sort of control right in front. You can get to this giant board of stuff from here, but it still has the ability to turn into a fully functioning MIDI switching rig. So by just putting in a MIDI cable to something down on the floor here called the Commander, I can now automate any one of these loops to come off and on. So by hitting one switch, I can turn two pedals on, one off. It'll also send a program chain. So that's why I've got this Strymon Mobius here. So from here, I can tell this, well, this, this patch, turn on some sparkle drive, a little echo, and turn this into a Leslie. So it'll send program change to that. So it gives me a very large, almost rack style program capabilities, but in a small pedal board rig. So from that, I'll, I can show you to this. This is another new product of ours called Hex. So this, it's also grabbing program change. Well, the cool thing about this, it's like having well, what we used to have called, what we still have, it's called the GCX Audio Switcher. And that was a rack-based eight loop thing with independent ins and outs. What this will do is give you the same functionality. You've got six loops, one independent, and then five together. So let's say, you know, you want to make a programmable buffer before your loops. You can put a buffer in here, or you can use this like to AB your amp. You could just do a function switch, make this a tap tempo on another product. So easily, you know, the lights are the buttons here. So I can turn loops off and on, program that, and the size as well has been formatted. If I wanted to mount this under a pedal train, I could stick it underneath there. It's perfect for like a rack shelf. Put it at the front of your little rack drawer. You can see your stuff. Also, the cool thing with this, you can put two of them together, and we have a set of optional rackers that'll make it a single space rack switcher. And at that point, you've got 12 loops, with two independents and, and even these, these are only going to be about 249 US street price. Sweet. So even two of these in a rack is going to be under 500 bucks. Yeah. So yeah, it was one of those things where you get guys who are like, well, I want a rack switching rig, but I always want to go to a pedal board. It's like, well, then you have to buy different formats of this stuff. With this one here, I can buy it once and then use it in any way I want to do it. Cool. That's smart, man. It's, we get lucky once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Step walk. We've been kind of showing this off and on, but what this is going to do now, it's also catching MIDI. So when I hit one switch there, you'll also hear this can be wah, it can be the sort of step wah, sequence type of thing, auto wah. And what you don't see, there's no you know screen on this thing, but it will say presets. So again, when I hit like say preset one on my commander, and this will remember what presets are on, and I can store sound by holding them down, and it just remembers. So again, it's just basic program change. So even this board, it just looks like some pedals on there. It's a fully functioning MIDI switching rig doing all of this stuff, super easy. So I'll uh, let Carson show you. We, it's got two options with it too. So you can do MIDI control this thing. So let's say you got a rig switching rig and you've got expression pedals on the floor. You can plug into like a ground control pro and, and remote control the wah. But if you just want to do an analog, you can do a little uh, TRS cable down to something new like this. I love these new little uh, Jim Dunlop volume uh, expression pedals. So we've got an expression pedal jack and uh, a car scene can go ahead and pretty much call up a wah and it'll bring it up. I'll let it play it right here. Mondo. This is, in the power supply area, probably the biggest thing we've ever done. Um, you can see we've got one mounted into the pedal train there, and it's running this entire board. Uh, the interesting thing about this is, you know, when you hold it in your hand, you realize, like, wow, this is a sort of the Cadillac of power supply. It's a giant boat. Yeah. But the funny thing... Sparkle job, too. I think we love that. Uh, the funny thing with all this stuff is, with everyone going to these pedal trains, the size isn't the issue. It's about whether you can actually mount things underneath. Yeah. So with this, you get almost the entire functionality of the Pedal Power 2 Plus, which for us is the number one selling thing we make. Plus, what we uh, this red area here is uh, 
the same functionality as Pedal Power Digital. And this is for the guys we found that are, they've got seven or eight analog pedals, but they're always adding maybe a time factor from Eventide, a Strymon Timeline, some of the new high current electroharmonic stuff. I mean, I bought a POG2 and a Super Ego. That stuff is all beyond using a 9 volt battery anymore. So we found it's like, well, the ultimate power supply would be half like high current, make my digital pedal sound badass, and then I want a bunch of analog stuff. So like this board here, you'll see like we've got the, the Strymon Mobius, and then we've got all this stuff, and it's one supply. And you, you think, well, God, this is 12 things. And you realize once you build a board like this, you hit 12 pretty quick. So even though I was like, man, do we really want to make something that big with that many ounces? And I'm like, well, wait, I am that guy. Because this is my board and I, I maxed it out already. Right. So if I wanted to get crazy, I could mount another one under here and keep stacking little pedals everywhere. So really excited about this one. So I think for the pedal board, just connoisseurs who are constantly going into this stuff, they, they want something that'll power anything under the sun. So I'm, I'm really happy about this one. Nice work, James. Smart stuff, always. Well, cool, man. You you got a website, I know that, right? Yeah, VoodooLab.com, and yes, the How Does He Blues Brothers theme, by the way. I'm going to throw that in there. Are you going to sing it for us? After 6 o'clock, when nobody's looking. Stay tuned for that. This is Charles signing off for uh, James and Carson over there for Premier Guitar. Check out our YouTube channel as well. There's a lot of fun stuff in waiting. Cheers. Take care.